here's here's gonna be the recap uh, for everybody. Go watch episode eight on episode eight, episode five on YouTube. It's Go a good episode. Um, it's a spicy one. Yeah. Did they progress at all in the overall arching story? That's up. We did not. That's to be found later. We started Spoiler. our progress. There was a I started our progress. Someone, I started our progress. Someone went to a bar and was told to come back later. <laughs> Which, <laughs> you know what? Let's do a little music shift here, because I think that's where we're going to end up, start right now. Mm. Except, I don't know what any of these songs actually are. What's this one? Oh, no, there's two songs. This is my favorite part of our D a whole stream, is finding the music. To be fair... Guilty confession, I have the master volume turned all the way down on all 20. It's all good. <laughs> you can't hear any of the music. <laughs> That's all good. I don't know how much uh, <laughs> the people online can hear it either. But, uh, but to be fair... Uh, I am looking into a uh, a service that will give me like uh, playlists that I can play on stream and transfer to YouTube and I don't know maybe podcasts podcasts to uh, have more thematic music come out. Yeah, that would be cool. That would nice. be very cool. So um, I would probably turn the master volume back up at that point. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure if this uh if I could find the actual songs that were made for loops, it wouldn't probably be as like oh <laughs> I'm just like oh <laughs> Um so yeah. But uh Yeah, so we are back in uh Halcyon Peaks and uh last time we remembered uh there were some events that happened, and uh, I think, you know, I think the biggest event right now that is good, worth to be sharing is that little, uh, little Ash uh, has a new friend, um, and uh, might have some abilities that might be shown off later. Who knows? We'll see. But we're not talking about them yet. So, mainly because of my terrible memory to write down notes. Um... Stefan, what was the name of the bar you were going to? <laughs> Did it have a name? I don't know. Do you want to name think, it? I don't. I don't really I don't recall it having a name. It, yeah, it never had a name. Okay, so um, let's. The bartender doesn't have a name either. <laughs> yeah, it was just the bar. The bar. <laughs> the bar. Okay. I I enjoyed Mrs. DM. I, that was, I that was a it kind of had a, a name like, you know, the Sloppy Kettle or something like that. The Sloppy Kettle? The Sloppy Kettle. Blah. <laughs> it's so gross. Well, it's better than the one I first came up with. It was like the Rusty Scone. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> I'm going to write that one down that, for that's later. That's the name of the bakery that Elizabeth's character goes to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not Liz. Nah. <laughs> oh man. But anyway, who knows what this bar is called? Maybe it had a name once, and it's covered in uh, whatever gets covered inside this uh, this uh, hollowed out mountain. But uh, the fun you're sitting at a table. Um, you were told to come back later tonight. Um, and. Uh, yeah, where do you think uh where do you think you're sitting? Mad dog. Uh is this later in the night or this, is this... it is now later in the night. Okay. Um Right, well I'm gonna be sitting uh kind of towards the back of the bar, uh <laughs> with my back to a wall. Okay. So you're sitting there and uh you, the bartender like he he's like okay, and he, like he you see him like what are you doing? and then just like someone goes up and like I was told to to take your order. Right, yeah. Um, all I have you know, a pint of beer and uh, you know, anything extra the bartender might have for me. Uh, oh, oh, okay, just uh, give me a second. 
First day on the job. Uh, no worries. Yeah, as I was going to say, not seen you here before. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody. It's just my first time on the job. Well, I'm Mad Dog. I'm Jim. <laughs> right. Nice to meet you, Jim. Now scuttle along and get me my beer. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, and then he like he walks in and like, "Hey, I'm new." And like, and he just starts. He looks like he's taking multiple orders. Um, and while you're sitting there, like, uh, roll perception check for me. Okay, D twenty, D twenty, D twenty. I'm probably good if I had my own. <laughs> I forgot to grab that one out. There they are. It is. We're going to role play and not play. 18. 18? 18. All right. So, like, there's just uh, the general rumble of, uh, like, the bar. It's it's not in full swing yet, but uh, it's kind of like that. It's like the, the time, like, right before, like, everyone that is just getting off of work would come in and get... Get their uh, their drinks or, or before heading home to the for night or just catch yeah. up with friends. It's like, uh, but it, it's starting to fill up and uh, you you hear from this other table, it's like, oh, listen here, I got this from a reputable person. You're not gonna find a coin like this anywhere. And this other guy's like looking at and he's got this like big eyepiece that like uh, I forget what they're called but it's like what the watchmakers use to like get really in there but it's like cartoonishly huge and he's just like well I don't know there man I'll just let me take a look and it's like look if you see there and they kind of they're talking uh you uh we, we start to fade to black and we're brought up in a different room as my phone decides to load my notes. There we go. <laughs> and uh, we see a younger Zafan. Uh, he's in a room with a, a bare room. Uh, just this wooden, old wooden chair that creaks every time he shifts his weight. This table sitting in front of him. Nothing on it. Um, except, and like, when you look at this table, it's, like, cracked, and you're, like, you're not sure, it's, like, is that, like, blood, ketchup, I don't know, I'm not gonna think about it too much, and, like, as you keep looking at this table, there's only one other thing on this table, and it is this ancient-looking coin, uh, our... Like our, our camera, our, our point of view kind of turns around and we see that Zafan is like uh, shackled to the chair. Like not, not tightly and he can still move a little bit, but he's just there, stuck into this chair. And uh, this door opens up and just like, and this uh, just grotesque looking person walks in just like, Now what did you think you were doing here? Stealing from me? Me? Stealing? No, no, no! I, I'm absolutely not. I would, I would never steal from you. Right, right. You see, you might think you're smart, but I got friends, you know. Oh, great, dude! Friends are the best. I've got several friends myself, and they're just friends are so awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? This friend Lots of mine. Lots of friends, like great friends, good friends, just like, you know, what kind of friends do you got? Do you, like, I got some really close personal friends that, you know, really like to take care of me, and you know, they they know they know where I'm at all the time. Like, if my routine gets broken, mm -hmm. they just instantly know it. All right, I mean, right. Do they know where you are now? Probably. I mean, you know, that's like, that's what I thought telling, there. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> my friend wants to meet you. All right. Oh. So, she said that uh, she wants to talk to you alone or something. But don't worry, she's the one that found you. So anyway. Cool. Great. Love and to so, meet new people. 
And he turns around like, I love the, you want to talk to him? And you just hear this voice. Um, yeah. You don't call me that. And this Keku <laughs> walks into the room. Friends after all. <laughs> and, uh, like, uh, you can leave now. And then he's like, oh, yeah, all right. I'll be back in a few minutes. I want to know where he's been trying to take this coin. And just walks out. Hey, hey, when you come back, can you maybe bring something to drink? No. Can I get, no? <laughs> I... And he closes the door. So, you it seems like you've been busy. Uh, I mean, no, no busier than, you know, just any, any regular old, uh, you know, purveyor of odds and ends would normally be. Mm, okay, okay, yeah. Um, so you are a person of many names. Uh, which would you prefer to go as? Um, Malum. Uh, How about I, the I mean, Hmm. I've I've only I've only got you know the the, the average number of names that. Any person would have. I, I'm Sam. It's nice, nice to meet you. Okay. It's short for Sam I L. Oh, okay. So, the fun. Um, uh, let's fun. talk. My name's Susan. Nice to meet you, Susan. Pleasure's mine. It's and, amazing uh, we have names that start with the same letter. Ah, uh, yes. It's how uh, common could that be? Ah, uh, more common than. Actually, no, it's not that common. There's some weird names in here. Anyway. The reason I want to talk to you, that was a nice trick on the coin. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, which coin? And like, she gets close and is just like, produces a key and like places it on there. It's like, look, I don't like the person who's hiring me, but I ought to take jobs sometime or another. But I think... I would have some work for you if you're interested. The only thing I need to know, well, I guess two things. One's, they actually both had to come for you. Um, one, I need you to trust me. And two, I want to know how you forged the coin. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, oof. that's a. So let me make this. Why don't I make this a little bit easier for you, okay? And like she reaches into her pocket and throws down four other coins that look very similar. I found these. I'm sure. And let let me get. Let me just be real with you. I'm not sending you up to give it back. So I'm pretty sure there's an original one somewhere, right? Uh, oh boy. Um, right. Look. So. You know what? We can talk about this later. The thing is. I think I might have work for you. I'm starting... Well, I've already started an agency. To help out the unfortunate, the other stuff, and... Not every job is pretty, and... Well, my, my two friends that are with me now are, are good, and... They, uh, they have a lot of skills, but not the ones that you are currently holding. And so, let me say, let's say, uh, if I help you out, would you, uh, like a job? One that would, well, definitely keep you out of this. And possibly real friends. Two questions. Mm -hmm. One, the big guy. Does he work for you or someone else? Uh, big guy. 
Oh, the one that just left? Um, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Does not work for you. Someone no. Else nah. Sludge? No. He, uh... I don't know what he's going by now, but I knew him as Sludge. He, uh... Would you believe he came out of the the mines? I don't know how he made it in here. But anyway, yeah, no, he's... He's not one of mine. He, okay. uh... Let's just say he owes me a, a debt, and he's really good at deepening that debt, which is why I'm here. Right. Cool. Um, can I try to uh, let's see here? Yeah, can I try to slip uh, one hand out of the man out of the bindings very surreptitiously? Yeah. Go ahead. What would that be? Um, probably, uh, I guess like dexterity or sleight of hand. Okay, I will sleight of hand then. I think it's like a liberal interpretation oh. of sleight of hand, but whatever. <laughs> it's my game, dang it. No. <laughs> well, I rolled a nine. Okay, yeah. yeah like, <laughs> you go and it's just like, it's almost there, but it's like just the last run. It like... It just kind of gets stuck, and she's like, "Oh, hey, here, you want to do something?" And just goes and like unlocks your hand. Yeah, I trust right. you. Okay, so what happens if I trust you? Then what comes next? Well, first, uh, I'm gonna leave. She like uh, Susan just takes the uh, the extra four coins. Um, do he thinks? Uh, He's not 100% sure, like, uh, what this coin is. But, uh, he's waiting a call from me. And, uh, he doesn't know about these other ones. So, pretty much you'll just have to be here for, I don't know, anywhere between three, two to three hours more. Uh, as, uh, I tell him what is going to happen, and then he'll have to go confirm it. And then if he doesn't listen, because I want you... I'll be back with my friends. Um, which then you'll also be out. So, I will say, uh, all you have to do is wait. Um, and then, well, let's just say, you thought the jobs you were doing now were interesting and fun. Just wait to some of the things we're going to do together. Right. So, here's this. When you leave, uh, here is an address. All right? So in about, we'll say, in a week, if you, if you think it over, you can ask people around who I am. Susan Brittlebeak. All right? Feel free to ask anyone you want. If they know me, they'll know me. And they'll let you know if I'm trustworthy. And if you want uh, some adventure and something really interesting, come to that address. Yeah. Hmm. So. What about the coin? Oh, that one? Oh, don't worry. Uh, Sledge will think it's real or whatever. I don't care what you do with the actual coin. Um, I don't know. You can bring it to to that location, and we can uh, make a plan from there. That sound, uh, you know what? Don't answer. Yeah. Think about it. Oh, but real quick, and like kind of slips the cuff back on you real quick, uh, and just, uh, <laughs> you can't let him get any ideas. Oh, and, uh, and she just reaches, like, into her cloak again, and just like, uh, here. Holds the flask up, like, like before she does your... She's like, said you wanted a drink? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, hold on to it. I expect that back. But, uh, okay, and, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll, uh, I guess I'll be seeing you later. Sounds good. Yep. Later, Zavon. Susan? Mm-hmm. Hey, Sludge, open up! And, uh, what? And it's like it kind of fades into darkness as... Uh, we come back up on the light and just the 
we hear is this guy's like, well, I think this coin is quite the specimen, and I think in the good year of our red, oh, not our red king, red king is uh, from that dirty east atris town, <laughs> oh, what's the, nah, I'm too drunk to talk politics, uh, I'll take, and then uh, someone comes up and uh, you see like the bartender is, actually comes over to you, like, uh, if you would, uh, follow me to the back room, I, uh, think we have, uh, some goods that we, uh, want to make sure that our special customers can look over. Right, yeah, right, hey, absolutely, I'll be right with you. All right. I'll stand up and follow him. Yep. And, uh, he takes you into the back room, and, uh, like, all right, the supplies right through that door back there. Hey, um, our specialist is back there. Thanks, mate. I'll uh, head back to the door. Yeah. Um, yeah, you come into the door and are you just walking through or? Uh, yeah, I'll just walk through the door. Okay. Yeah, so you walk through the door and uh, you see a half lane. Um, excuse me, his throat is dry. <laughs> um, you see this halfling sitting there, and, uh, uh, it's, uh, they are, like, kind of just in this kind of raggedy dark cloak, and they're just like, oh, um, yes, 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 come, come in, come in, come in. You're the one that's asking about Crest Haven, aren't you? Right, yeah, Crest Haven it is, yeah. Right. There seems to be a lot of attention going on there. Oh yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um anyway, let's uh let's um let's get down to it. My my name is uh well let's just say if you need me, my name's Sly, okay? Right, Sly, nice to meet you. I'm Mad Dog. Nice to meet you, Mad Dog. I heard about you. And uh don't worry, it's my job to know. Yeah, you know. Let me know my reputation precedes me. Mm-hmm. I lo know a little bit about everything. Well, that's not true. I know what I need to know. So. Right. Right. Anyway. You go out around town as you want to get in the Crest Haven. Right, yeah, a little bit. Okay. Do you got any questions, or what are you, what are you looking for? Well, I'm just kind of trying to see here, like, you know, what's the easiest way to get in there? But the easiest way is the loudest way, and it would be this, and just brings out dynamite. You just blow a hole in the wall. Now that would cause other right. that would cause other things, you know. Um, I now, s oh, go ahead. I, I like that idea a lot. Don't get me wrong. I love a great smash and grab job. Um, I'm looking for something a little bit more delicate, right? You know, a little bit more um, stealthy, as it were. I got you, man. After my trade, hmm. Um, hmm. You going alone or with people? Well, you know, I like to see my options. Probably with people. Okay, no, Possibly there's... Possibly lots of them. Okay, yeah, no, don't worry. I... The big thing is I just got to make sure that I'm giving you the right plan because I can't let people think in Sly is being Sly with his customers, you know? So... Absolutely, absolutely. Anyway, anyway. So... Here's the thing. There's two options, which, uh, one is possible, but you're gonna have to wait a little bit of time. Um, the one that you could do right away is, uh, you can go undercover as, uh, some clergy members. Um, it seems like, I don't know, once, uh, throughout the week, uh, different people from the different halls go in there and, and do something and come out. Uh, if that's what you want, we can get you the schedule and figure out which clergy's going in at what point. Um, it's apparently something that Crest Haven doesn't have a control over, because otherwise I'm pretty sure they would have them stay out. Because I don't think I've seen anyone, well, easily get in through the main gates. Interesting. Yeah, but that's gonna, like, you gotta make sure you have some, like, friends in clergy, get some robes, Get, yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing, but that's one option. Right, right. Uh, Possibly incurred a wrath of the deities and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. 
you know, praise elements and all. But um, the other option, which is a little bit more rough, but honestly, if you can get the right tech, and I might be able to get it for you, is to go through the sewers. The only reason why I would say this is tough is that some some idiots on the north end decided to flood it and uh, they're working on getting it unflooded. I don't know who decided to do that, but... Not in the sewers. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, what, they like drop a serious thumper dumper or something? I like, don't know. I don't know, but from what I heard... Oh Oh man, up in the north section, um, whatever the name is that I'm forgetting right now, it is reeking to the high heavens. Oh no. What um, elementals? That's nuts. Yeah, uh, apparently they saw a group of people go in, no one knows what uh, is going on, but it is what it is. It's all, it's all whatever. Peachy keen, as I like to say. Actually, I like how it sounds, that's what I'm gonna say from now on. Anyway, so there's that option from what I heard. Um, if you want to go through there uh, as it is now, I would just have to get you guys some equipment. Um, or you guys would have to get your own equipment. It's totally up to you, you know? Any yeah, for my, my dearies. And uh, yeah. yeah, just like stuff for some other underwater uh, investigations. Or you know what? The other option is we. You guys just have to wait, I think, in about uh, a week or two. The water level should be low enough, and you guys can, uh, you and your crew should be able to get in there. Um, oh, and unless you, uh, and that's the other thing, if that's what you want to do, I, I believe in that amount of time I can get you guys some maps uh, to get through there and uh, find your way through there. Oh, interesting. Well, that's the interesting. question. Yeah, it just depends on your timetable. Um, you know, give me a sec there. Mm. And if well, you need well, time, a to couple of days to mm -hmm. think about it. Um, consult with you know. Oh, for people. sure. I'm not um, here to make enemies. To talking about. Uh, right. So, how about I will come back in a few days? Uh, Sounds day good. Two, and give you more of a solid answer. Um, mm -hmm. Until then, how much for the dynamite? Oh, oh man, dynamite. Let's see. As I quickly click things to find out how much dynamite costs. Um, let's see. I think how much is dynamite in the game? I know it's. <laughs> quickly. Uh, hold on. <laughs> dynamite stick. I found the stats for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... me too. <laughs> it has no cost. The um... complete kit is 2,500 gold. I'm assuming that's not what you're buying. Well, okay, dynamite sold in packs of 10 sticks is 750. So what's that? 75 gold Three. for one stick? That feels like a lot. Especially in this world with gold pieces per stick crafting with half the price. How much? That's from Reddit. It says 300 gold pieces per stick. But that's a that's a Reddit. That's not a specific. But you know what? I think this guy, maybe he is trying to cut a deal. And that's the thing. Okay, he's like, well, let's see. I can get you the good one, uh, but it comes at a pretty price. Um, be around 400 gold. Or, you know what, since I like you so much, if you can uh, get me 50 gold, uh, there could be, uh, the special. Right. Yeah, um, I think the special one sounds right nice to me. Uh, let me, let me, let me see here. Yeah. I'm gonna, like, dig through my pockets a little bit, like, make a show of seeing if I have, you know, kind of kind of the money on me and uh yeah i want to buy this special all right 50 gold yep all right he's like all right here you go my friend my friend here you go and just write sly special dynamite okay sly special dynamite there you go
And um, here's the thing. Hey, bud. When you come back... Um, oh, hold on. Let me... Um, how rude of me. Is there anything else that you would like to do? I don't think so. I'm probably gonna... Yeah. Okay. When you come you back here... Right? Tell the barkeep... Let's go up and tell him, Hey, I'm ordering Fireball on the sly. And he'll, he'll know what you mean. And uh, in a few minutes, I'll be here. Fireball on the sly. Got it. Right. Right here. Yeah. No problem. Don't worry. If anyone sees it, no one will know what they're talking about. So. Right. Thanks, mate. Yeah, no problem. Mm-hmm. All right. Pleasure doing business with you. See you in a few Good days, my friend. You too. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Yeah, Sweet. you head out and... You on have... the way out, I'd mm -hmm. like to kind of go over and, and see if the two guys at the table are talking about a coin are still there. Uh, yeah, they're still there. Um, about how tipsy do they both seem? Um, roll perception. Oop, got to actually roll on the table. Ooh, I rolled an eight. Um, that dice is fired for the night. <laughs> they uh they look inebriated like it's it's pretty obvious that like one of them is is gone the other one is like yeah you're not 100 percent sure mm -hmm. um which of that is the seller the one that seems to be pretty gone or is it the the buyer the one that had the eyepiece in is is the one that's pretty gone mm -hmm. okay um i'll i'll go over to the table i'll step over and go right mate to the to the seller I'd be like, mate, I don't know if you can tell by this coin. I think it's a forgery. Oh, uh, what? What? Why oh, don't you say that? Well, How can you, you tell? See, see, I happen to be a, let's call it, collector of rare items. Right? And um, I can tell several, several special things that tell me that that that's a forgery. First off, you see the dirt on this coin? Yeah, I, oh yeah, I do. Well, see this here. Uh, first off, what century are we in, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Uh, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what would be a, what would be a good? Um, you know, if I'm gonna say something, it's like you know, Fox we're like in a Victorian, Fox. like it's a Victorian age. So like okay. like a steampunky instead of like steampunk, it's like magic tech. So it's like a Victorian okay. magic tech. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Right. right, so this coin here is obviously an 11th century Tiberian. Right. And uh, this dirt here, will you see the color of it? Well, back when this was invented and when this coin was made, they didn't have dirt of that color. See, it was bright red and the dirt here is black, which means that this coin is A, not as old as it says it should be, and B, has the wrong kind of dirt on it. So I can guarantee you it's a forgery. But, yeah, in a lucky day, you see, uh, uh, I happen to really like to collect forgeries and specimens of things. They come in very handy, especially uh, so I can compare them and, like, you know, show people the real ones from the fake ones. So, I'd offer to take it off your hands for two gold pieces. I, I, uh, I, uh, I don't know if I uh, can do And, uh, <laughs> I forgot the voice of the other guy now. <laughs> Was it? I think it was like a higher pitch. I'm like, yeah. Oh man, I don't remember what it was. This is what it is now. Like, hey, bad man, what are you doing there? I'm trying to take on my. Uh... He hasn't bought it yet. What are you doing here? Well, it's obvious. I want to make sure he doesn't buy something that's fake, and I think I can offer a bit of price. A better price? You don't even know what he's paying for it. Right. What were you gonna pay him for it? I was going to pay hard uh, uh, 50, 50 gold coins for this cole <laughs> collection. Right. Unfortunately, like I said, that coin is not worth very much at all. Uh, like I said, because you're lucky, um, I'll offer you two gold for it. Uh, and he's going to... He's going to roll... Um, insight at disadvantage. 
Well, that's a natural 17 and a 7. He's like, I knew that. You, uh, I don't think I want to do this by anymore. And he's like, well, if you don't want it, and he like takes the coin back, and he's like, thanks for costing me a month's salary. And he just takes the coin and walks out. Mm. All right, well, can't win them all. No, but thank you, sir. Oh. Yeah, if you come back, I'll treat you to the whatever this is. Right, thanks, mate. You have a good one. Okay, friend, good. Um, hey, barkeep, I want to. Oh, and he just like falls <laughs> over and just like. <laughs> right. So the seller with the, the coin is the one that left? Yeah, and he took the coin okay. with him. Right, right. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's it, yeah. Okay. So... Well, I think we're going to... Late, so would it be late enough in the evening? To, it would be too late to go back to the um, detective agency and everybody be there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I think you like at this cool. point is when uh, little little ashes had no little ash was having us fun the day before. So I think it's in the next day, and you guys all determined like you guys are kind of off doing your own things, and you would meet the day yeah. after. Sweet, cool. So, just go home. Yeah. Then. So we're kind of just jumping all over the timeline on this day. <laughs> um. So, um. Yeah, so we're gonna shift. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna shift uh, perspectives here to uh, or with the lore, uh, and he uh, he's walking into this uh, the police uh, department, um, where I need to look at the cloud district map to remember where I put it, uh, which is an art clay. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want to look? Which map do you guys want to look at? The big confusing <laughs> map of uh, yes. There you go. <laughs> we can look at that. More one. confusing, the better. <laughs> there we go. The big confusing map that I I uh, generated. So yeah, um, Art Clay is in the middle, and that's where kind of a lot of a few law offices are. And uh, yeah, you are walking into the police station, and uh, this um, human secretary greets you. It's like. Oh, hey there, Lord Darling. Welcome back. Like all of us in his office. Let me just buzz him. Like, oh, yeah, Lord's here. Mm hmm. Okay. He said you can go right in there, dearie. Thank you. Mm. And I just kind of just walk in. Yep. And, uh. <laughs> oh, that's not. Yep. Man, Laura, you don't love anyone. How can you nope. not love that person? <laughs> sure don't. All right, and just refresher. What? So, what is it we're doing here again? Asking questions: How to get into Crosshaven? Yeah, you. Crosshaven, yes. You wanted right. to meet with Guy Gulliver because you already had right. the connection the with them. The connect. Yeah, we decided he would have a connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time you guys are meeting Guy Gulliver on screen. So as you come in, you see this lavish. Uh, office filled with this uh, big, like, wooden, like, mahogany desk that's just stained. It looks, like, beautiful. There's, like, these chairs like, that look so comfortable. Like, you can tell, like, there's some money in this job when you compare it to the Raven Scales. Um, and there's, like, trophies on the wall and just uh, different, like, things of achievement. And, uh, at the desk, you see a dwarf with red hair. And he's just like, Well, if it isn't Lore, my buddy, friend, and teacher, come on in. What can I do for you? Hey, Sheriff. Um, just kind of, Lore's a little taken aback as he walks in and he's looking around at kind of uh, the setup he has. And he's a little surprised. He's. 
he looks at him and, you know, kind of after looking around, looks at him, he's like, this is uh, quite the setup you've got here for yourself. And, uh, well, some of the stuff came with the office and, um, well, you know, it's, uh, some of the stuff is mine, but yeah, I guess this is the first time you've been in my office. Normally we're over at the academy just kind of showing the tots, uh, how to actually defend themselves. Well, I just want to say it's a very nice office, and I'm impressed. Yes, yeah. this is uh, this is nice work. Mm, yes, yeah, I always told Susan she should have updated her uh, her things, but uh, now she said she liked the simple, simple life. Yeah, and uh, she, you know, Susan, she keeps it straight and to the point. Yep, yeah. she's a strange one. Anyway, <laughs> what can I help you with? Well, if, if you don't have some time, or if you've got some time here, I'd like to, maybe we could sit down. I'd like to, to pick your brain about something, see if maybe you could offer some options for us. All right, yeah, let me hear him. Right. Lord, Lord pulls up a chair and, and kind of, you know, sits down facing the sheriff. He's like, we've uh, we've got some work. Or as you know, Susan is is... Yeah. Missing is, I guess, the word I'll use. She's she is on assignment, and we're not entirely sure where she is. Um, but mm -hmm. for the moment, we are having to step in and cover some of her cases. So we're doing a little bit of our own, you know, detective work and and trying to keep the place going until she gets back. Um, and we have some leads that are pointing us to. Crest Haven, and I'm curious if you have any thoughts on how we may get in there. I know access is pretty restricted, but I'm hoping maybe there's some kind of legal loophole or some illegal influence that we can kind of leverage to get our group in there to do what we need to do. Yeah, that's uh, that is quite the thing. We've been trying to get in there ourselves. It's like, unfortunately, the only way we get in there is if we have an official warrant, and, uh, we haven't found anything, any evidence. Like, if you had some evidence that they were doing something shifty, we might be able to start pulling some of the strings to get us in there. Um, have you, have you been able to issue warrants that have gained you entry in the past? It's rare. Like, um, it has to be pretty serious. Um, it's, and like, even getting in there is half the, the battle, honestly. Once, uh, once you're in there, it's, uh, well, let's just say getting in is the easy part. There's, right. there's something wrong with those heads in there. They, uh, like, very, it seems like, I don't know, like, you ever just walk in the place and feel like there's something just, constantly evaluating you and not in like I'm here for a test but like mm. testing and just seeing and like pushing on the edges of your mind it's like that's what it feels like in there okay okay that's good to know um so what if I told you that in our recent casework we came into contact with some goblins who have a letter what? that are um, describing the trafficking of children to Crest Haven. Oh, I would say you're right on your way to get that warrant. Okay. What, what would we need to do to get that ex executed? Um, if you can bring that document down, we just got to just check it. Um, Where did you uh, find these goblins? Oh. Uh... We were in some of the sewer works and tracked them, tracked a group of them down there, and were on the point of taking and interrogating them. Where, when we had something happened and the sewer started to flood out and we had to bail out, we uh, were not entirely sure what happened, but. It, it did kind of throw a wrench into our procedures, but we were able to obtain this document that seems to be pretty reliable uh, that this operation was 
taking children and moving them into Crest Haven. I see. I see. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, well, you know what? I would trust you. Um, I, would, I wouldn't I would lie to you, Sheriff. You know me. We go back too far for that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Um, so... Let me find out. Okay, yeah, if you bring that document down, and... Um... And if you could, I don't know, just write me up a report of what happened in there. Um, I'm, sounds like you're still working on that case, but any any little information that we can get, like, I I don't want to get Susan's crew in trouble. <laughs> and I, I, I appreciate that. I can I can get our um, our secretary to, to write up the report and then we will uh, we'll get that and a, uh, the letter over to you as soon as possible so we can get going on that warrant and and see if that's a a viable option to get into the city. Yeah, no, that's honestly we've been trying to find. We knew something was up, and we know at Glass Point there was kids missing. But yeah, if we're able to connect that with Crest Haven, oh man, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's uh, that would definitely help. <laughs> you know, getting in there, they man, there's there's some things going. Excuse me, there's definitely some things going on down there. Yeah, so yeah, if there's. If you can just bring that stuff down, like, uh, either the next day or, or so, uh, we could work on getting that warrant for you. Um, the only thing is, um, we would probably, I, I would not be able to come with you, but I might have to send one of my lieutenants. And, uh, if, I don't think that would be an issue, but, um, and, you know, it's no, like, just staying above law and everything. Sure, sure. I, I I think we could manage that. We that shouldn't, as long as he you know doesn't interfere with any of our t detective work and it's just an, an observation <laughs> role. I think we can certainly accommodate that. Yeah, well, he he is a police member, so he he does have some uh, some things, and not like you guys are like I don't know hiding a fugitive or something. Like you guys wouldn't do something like that, but uh, of course not. Yeah, and like. Pfft. Like, well, no, where should be the celestial? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, no, we'll get that set up. Bring me down the information, and uh, we'll get that uh, rocking and rolling, my friend. All right, I really appreciate your time and your help in this. I think this is going to be exactly what we need to to make some progress here. I am. Oh, this is this is great. This is great. So. Yeah, bring that in the next day or two, and uh, we could have a warrant for you by the end of the week. All right, I will. Uh, I will head back there now, and we'll get this started as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So I will be seeing you hopefully in a day or two. Sounds good. Yeah, you can just leave that with Dolores up front. All right, sounds good. Hi. Right. All right, thank okay. you, Sheriff. I will see you later. Mm hmm. Yep. And. Floor gets up, you know, kind of gives a, a a wave and walks out the door. Bye, dearie. Goodbye, Dolores. Oh, what a sweetheart. <laughs> he keeps and Lord just walks out the door. Hey. Talk to me, Dolores. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, now that yes, it's just yes. now that it's just the party out with rolling, um. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna switch uh, over, maybe just like a couple buildings over. Var, did I tell you where Brumble Patch was, or? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember okay. if I wrote down uh, uh, when we first met him where he was. Well, he met from. you guys. Brumble Patch yeah, he is came to us. yeah, and so Denton Brumble Patch, um, his office is also an art clay, so. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's kind of where, um... Yeah. Uh, pretty much all the government buildings are, since it's so close to the, the tube. Cut. Um, so. Um. Alright, so, yeah, you, you enter his, like, and his, like, um... His building is like is looks like it's cut out of like some precious like 
shiny stone. Not like like blindingly bright, but it's like uh, most of the stone here is like either browns or blacks um, that everyone's houses are carved out of. Uh, this one, and, and then like it's either people either paint over it um, or something to give it characteristics. Uh, your this one looks like it it is made not out of marble, but like maybe like it's like imported like sandstone or something like a real like uh like white roseish color stone um to like really stand out where the government building is and as you walk in it's it is very clean and pristine um very like modern looking by our standards and uh you walk in and uh there's the receptionist up there it's just like uh yes can i can i help you have I been here before? Like yeah, I would say so. Susan's secretary. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so um, if that's the case. Oh, uh, Miss Savara, welcome back. Uh, are you here to drop off some files? Um, no, actually, I'm here following up on a pers well, not personal, a business request from uh, Mr. Grumblepatch. I need to update him on a case that he has us working on. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, if you just uh, don't mind taking a seat, I will. Uh, just head over and uh, see if I can, we can get him in. I I think uh, I think he's just about to finish a meeting. So uh, if you Thank have you. have a couple minutes, uh, we can get you in there. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank oh. you so much. Yeah, yes. Uh, just give me give me a few seconds to go find out. And uh, he goes and comes back and he's like, it'll be about ten minutes, and then he'll be ready for okay. it. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And so in like ten minutes. Um, Rumble patch walks down, um, and in normal fashion. I think Savara that whole time is like so uncomfortable. Like this is not <laughs> her seat at all. Like sitting like rigidly on whatever like weird marble bench they have, and just mm -hmm. like can tell that this is not where she would choose to be. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And then I'm trying to remember what his voice was. <laughs> hey, the guy who just watched all the episodes, what was his voice like? I don't I don't remember what his it was just a normal voice. It wasn't like anything silly. Yeah, I know it wasn't silly, I just wasn't sure. Well Make it regal. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was like Oh why well, yes, hello there, Zavara. Um <laughs> if I had a different voice, this is what it is now until you talk to me again. <laughs> I've he's been a, he's an He's an As Asimar. As yeah. Asimar? Yeah. So he was like angelic-ish. Yeah, so maybe it was a little bit higher, you know, Asimar allergies. Anyway, follow me. <laughs> and uh, it takes you to his office, and um, one of these days I will have one of these characters have the same voice. Anyway, oh. So he's like, oh, yes. Yeah. So uh, he told me that you had uh, an update on one of the cases or multiple cases. He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't very um, informative. Oh, well, I was. Um, I was making sure not to give many details, as I know that confidentiality is important in these mm -hmm. matters. Yes, yes. yes. Um, so. I'm sure that there are threads connected through many of these, but in particular, we have been following up on the missing children case that you gave us. Oh, okay, okay, yes. And very long story short, we found out that it seemed like goblins were stealing children from the orphanage and taking them into the sewers. And our venture into the sewers led to a lead that um, the children are then being ferried into Crest Haven. Mm -hmm. And the, um, the followers of Reese are potentially involved. So this could be possibly bigger than we thought. And it's looking like we're going to need to get into Crest Haven to continue tracking this down. There's celestial worship happening on my level. Hmm. Yes, oh, this troubles me greatly. Um, 
Okay, we, uh, we're definitely gonna have to do something about this. Um, hmm. Alright, first things first. Um, and I don't know if any of you guys have talked with the sheriff. Uh, he, that would probably be the fastest way to get in there with a warrant. Um, yeah, besides that, the thing is, I could go in, and I've been in there multiple times, but uh, even then, they have connections to upper levels, and... Uh, yeah, the only way I'd be able to barge in there with a team is if we thought there was spies. And if we thought there was spies and hidden in there, but unfortunately, it seems like... Stolen children don't reach the level of concern? It is a concern for me and for you, but it's, uh, as I said, Cresthaven seems to have connections above. Like, I have connections above, but it's... Ah, uh, this is definitely troubling. Uh, the... Pretty much... Hmm... And he, like, kind of just sits there and thinks, and he's just like... Let me just go step by step. First off, sewers, goblins in the sewers. Be honest. You don't have anything to do with the recent flooding, did you? And I'm curious what bearing that has on this conversation. Because if I can clear you from that, then I won't have to worry about other city officials trying to stop you from doing your job. Let me tell you, they saw that there was a party that suspiciously matches your group. And some people aren't very happy. And if I can clear the fact that you're in there, this is just another flag that isn't ticked when we have to go in there. If you guys did go for a warrant, it comes here, and but then it also has to go above. And if there's trouble tied to your name, then it just makes the whole process more difficult. And so if I can not have this tied to you, then the process is smoother. Can I just roll an insight check to yeah. see if he's being straight with me? Mm hmm All right. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 18. Yeah, no, it looks like he's being okay. totally honest with you and is, is not trying to... Like, it doesn't look like... He's honestly, like... This is the best way you can get into Crest Haven. Um, okay. And, like, everything that you feel like he's saying up to this point is is true. Okay. All I can say, Mr. Rumblepatch, is we were in the sewers when the flooding happened. However, I am not aware of what caused it or... Who, who or what may have created the problem. Hmm. But the group that they saw was us. That's all we I needed. We were down there when it happened. That's all I needed. It's, uh, it's pretty much just something on the lines of, you said there was goblins. If you have evidence that there were goblins in there and evidence of these goblins doing child trafficking, it's, uh, well, that, that would make sense, especially if you got under a lair, that it would have some sort of trap or something in there to make sure that they didn't get caught. Um, Possibly. We do have a note. Um, it was written in Goblin, right? Mm -hmm. pretty, yeah. We do have a note written in Goblin, and that's that's how we knew, that says that they were taking the children to Crestaven. I don't think it was written in Goblin, because I was able to read it, and I can't speak Goblin. Oh, okay. Then I think it was right in common. Yeah. Well. Oh, was it? Okay. I thought I, we had had um, Little Ashion translate it, but I could be wrong on that one. There. So the one that we saw that said small, right? We, we could make out that it was small, but we couldn't make out what exactly it was. The thing from the thing that said 
Crest Haven was in common. Gotcha. That was okay. a, that was written in common. The other one was like a goblin handbook, but the Crest right, Haven right, right. one is is a correspondence. Okay. So so okay so we have a note <laughs> that we found in the sewers that says that the children were taken to Crest Haven, and we also took a prisoner on our way out of the sewers. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Well, if this prisoner is willing to share information, then uh, I don't see a problem with pardoning him or her or at least putting him in custody of of uh, Raven Scales. Well, at the moment, I th- I would advocate that we bring him along. I think that he could be a useful piece of information as he is connected to and was even a part of making sure that we got out of the sewers safely. Yes. Well... Once again, just to make sure things go smoothly for y'all, if uh, you could bring this fugitive to me, and I just need to ask them some questions. Uh, Once again, I want to have this go as smoothly as possible, and I'm just trying to make sure that there's no red flags or tape or anything that is put on, uh, on this file, because if we can get in there, then... This would be great. So, um, can you bring this prisoner down with the next day or two, and uh, we can talk with him? I would have um, to talk with him alone. I can certainly. Try. Okay. Um. Here's here's the deal. He's kind of bonded to, um, you know, Ashion, right? Oh, um, the loud one. Yes. Yeah, so he's kind of bonded to him, and um, I'm not sure that you're going to get anything out of him unless Ash is actually in the room, at least. So you might have to tolerate one of us being in there. Well, we can try alone, and then if we need more, if then Ash can come along, as long as he's willing to uh, be quiet. Okay. But it's honestly, it's just the... The procedure I have to follow. Okay. Um, but yeah. I'll do, I'll do my best. I will go back and talk to the team. And um, um, Laura was going to go talk to Sheriff Gulliver. So, okay. um, yeah. So I'll connect with him and then we'll touch base. All right. That sounds excellent. I am glad that this is going in there and we can start quieting some of these grumblings from the detective, against the detective agency. You guys, I know things aren't favorable right now and uh, I'm hoping that we can fix this and and move forward. Me too. Can I ask you one more question before we leave? Of course. Um, I know you're busy. Um, Do you have any information? Have you heard anything about Susan at all? It's been so long now. At the last I heard, she said that she said she was going up, but I didn't see her go up the tube or anything. It's just said up, and like we have to document when people go through up up the tube, and there is no documentation of her going through anything. Um, and uh, I don't know, it it seemed to have have vanished. That is how it feels. Hmm. Yes, if uh, if I hear anything, I will definitely tell you guys. Uh, I... Susan was a dear friend, and she did many good things, and helped, pretty much helped, uh, the stability that we see here in the Cloud District, but yeah, we're all hurting right now. So, uh, 
yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. I know you're busy. No problem. If you if you have any other questions, feel free. Come on down, and we'll we'll see if uh, we can get them in there. And uh, I'll let the lads know up front that uh, we'll see you within the next day or two. With uh, not to be alarmed that there's a goblin. So. Yes, definitely. We wouldn't. And we'll we wouldn't make want sure. To add any more stress? Yes, that reminds me. I have to warn them that that Ashion is coming too. So we'll have to put on the patient. Uh, don't worry, this is me planning. Okay, yes, uh, we'll see you in a couple days. Okay, have, have a good day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> going to go so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, there's nothing positive that's going to happen out of it. No. <laughs> We're clearly dressing oh, up as clergy because we can't do this other plan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we still I mean, have the warrant. Scuba diving anyone? No, the warrant is connected. Uh, oh, that's right. We yeah. can go scuba diving. I mean, I did take a stick of dynamite, too. Like You did. <laughs> okay. So. And lastly, it's... Uh, well, once again, we, we ended with uh, something with Little Ash and Ash. A and A, and uh, I think this is probably where we're gonna get close to the end of our session this time as well. Hopefully, we'll see how long how long this goes. But um, yeah, uh, Ash, uh, you uh. wait. Hmm. No, you're good. Oh, Ash, you uh, you wake up um, refreshed. Um, you it is like a brand new day, a twinkle in an eye because you talk to. Uh, your creepy snake dad, and uh, it seems like you have, well, a younger brother now, and uh, you guys, Aww. you guys are both uh, just alive and well. Uh, and in the morning, like you, you're able to like go and um, maybe with some of the funds or trading some of the random things little Ash had in there, you're able to get him some. Uh, some equipment that you believe should be able to help him out. Um, what does he look like right now? Like, I guess, like, what is he wearing? Because, like, before he was, like, kind of just makeshift, like, low... Like, I don't even think he was wearing armor. I think he was just kind of wearing, like, tattered no, he rags. Just, he just had common clothes on. Yeah, um, yeah so Ashon was actually super excited about last night. And so he woke up early uh, while little Ash was still sleeping. And even though he knows you're not supposed to leave a goblin alone... He ran out real quick to the closest shop that um, he has gone to for, for some of his magical items and things of that sort. And he took some of the things that Little Ash had uh, and he trades that in um, for a new priest pack and and some some vestments and things like that for, for Little Ash. And so he gets back in the morning and he wakes up Little Ash. So Little Ash is actually naked, um, sleeping in in his little drawer right now. Um, uh, I, I imagine that, uh, well, he's he's still like sooty and dirty from the sewers. Um, and Ashion has no idea how to take care of a, of a small creature. And so he's just kind of letting him stay that way. But he begins to like pull out these vestments and is showing like little Ash how to put the vestments on. And he pulls out um, from his pack this dagger um, that has a purple gem on the handle. Um, and, and Ashion with his tail lifts up his staff that has this blue gem on it and shows little Ash that this is where your power resides. And he hands the dagger to, to little Ash, uh, to hold on to, um, as his arcane focus. Um, and yeah, so like little Ash is now dressed up as this like little, I don't even know how tall little Ash, he's like two foot something, mm -hmm. like maybe like three foot at most. And and he's in his own little tiny like goblin vestments for Odine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and Ashion hands him an Odine, uh, oh, like disc that like he has, um, 
because he has like multiple of those discs and he hands that disc to him and so and he's trying to show him where to keep it on his vestment and and he just starts talking to, to little ash all about like who odine is and how we don't talk about take hall to anyone and we don't uh show anyone any of these things and and how we can only survive if we um if we let people believe that we are clerics and so he just starts explaining these things to him um and they like grab like some like jerky type of meat um as they head as they're like about to head out and so that's a uh, so little ash is a goblin who's sooty and dirty because ashian has no idea how to how to care for anything um and and he has this inane idea that you can't wash a goblin past a certain time because bad things will happen um and he is now wearing full vestments with this dagger with this like purple gem like in like the uh in the belt of the vestment okay and um and yeah uh, he's talking to little ash all about how uh today's the day um that he learns everything it means uh to follow um to follow god and they uh, set off uh like so little ash jumps into like ashion's backpack and he like throws the like hood up because he knows people don't like goblins and they uh, set off for the docks for the harbor district he's like he jumps in the pack and he's like oh no his voice was a little bit higher pitched. He's like, "Yay, road trip!" And just jumps in there. He's like, <laughs> "Wee!" And he's just like quietly like going, "Wee!" It's so like he, his eyes are like peeking out from the pack because you told him like, you "Gotta, you gotta be hot. <laughs> you gotta keep hidden." Um, so there, you wanted to, um, find. A way what what did you want to do you you sent me something else but I, so i'll let you explain what you want yeah so there was two things that the ash was going to do he, the first thing he was going to do was help um little ash understand how to control his powers mm -hmm. um because if not that's going to go bad really quick for a goblin um who now can just magically cast force damage at the will um who has no idea what he's doing Oops. um yes and then he um he was gonna go back to the detective agency and look through susan's books to see if he could find any sort of documentation or like glean what type of documentation you need to get into crest haven because we had said that there was um that the only way into crest haven was to have the right papers to get in um, and then he was going to try to forge those documents if he could find any, if he has any idea of what they look like and, and what the like colors on them are and what they're supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I kind of like to imagine like you're, you, since you like woke up early, like if we like zoom the camera out as you were like, because you would have to go to like, uh, like everyone, well, yeah, there's like kind of small coin grove is like kind of where like all the commerce stuff happens. There's a lot of merchants in there, which I guess that would make sense why you woke up early to get there and get deals and get back to your area. Um, it wouldn't be as far as going all the way across town, like to Mistrot, which we think we said was like a two and a half hour trip from where you guys are. But um, it'd probably be like within the 45 minute there and then shopping and then coming back. But like, I just like to imagine, like, as you you're up there, maybe like you're running down like a dawn quarter. We see Safara going to um the place where she has the tree, and and sitting there, like you're running behind that while she's like having flashbacks of, of like, oh, uh, yeah. and she's just like, uh, and, like uh, you're just like, wee. <laughs> <laughs> But um very different life experiences. Yes. <laughs> um <laughs> but uh Yeah, but uh you you also know that you pretty much will not be 
At least you believe you will not be disturbed with the way it seems like everyone was talking, even though I think you just ran out of the room. Um, yeah, Laura and I fought, had a, had a word of exchanges, and I was like, forget you and your goblin killing self. Um, and, and he just like went to Brother Trust. All right. So, so I, I guess, because uh, you know Laura's kind of been staying there. Are you sneaking in and all that stuff? No, no. Um, yeah, the, like he he wouldn't go back until like his first thing would be to like go down to to some of the like. No, the I I know alleys. that. Like I'm just yeah. I'm just saying like no, you, he would, you he did would all just that. walk right. Okay. No, I was no, just he would just walk right back in. Yep. Okay. He would show up like he normally does after like three p.m. Um, <laughs> as if he's showing up for work. Um, hey, yeah, nice. No, so, uh, but you you walk Ashton's in. There. not scared of lore he's just like frustrated with mm -hmm. like as, as you can tell he like kind of like just has not had the greatest rapport with anybody at the at the raven skills because he's just so self-focused so when he like goes in he doesn't there's no um like he's not trying to avoid them mm -hmm. if anything he's purposefully messing with them consistently with his mage hand when he goes in yeah. I could imagine him like taking like lores, um, like wrenches and like moving them when he's trying to go for them and things like that. Oh, oh dude, that's dangerous. Yeah. So yeah, you you're able to get in there and uh, you're you're in the office, um, rifling through uh, Susan's files. Um, make an investigation check. See if uh, what you can find. Yeah. Pull up and see what my investigation is. Okay, that's a plus one. That is a two with a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, oof. that's rough. You you find documents on a bunch of things and like like pretty much oh some some permits to look into uh like a. Uh, Sorry, brain just fried. Uh, some permits to go into um, the uh, the the rock quarry of of the mines. Uh, another permit um, for a house in Mister Rot. Uh, a permit for um, and like you find like some random information of just like uh, talked with Nail and. Uh, Still unable to get communication, uh, and like, but you are just not able to find anything on Crest Haven. Um, yeah, but uh, but you still have some time there. If there's uh, or we'll say like it, it was like it's been a couple hours now, and like your eyes are crossing. So, if there's anything else you want to do. In, uh, no, in... that was that was his main that was his main focus was trying to like see if he could find anything on that. Uh, and seeing as he's not run into anybody else, he hasn't like like he has all the stuff that he wants to like share with people, but he's trying to figure out how to share it with them. Mm -hmm. Like he's like trying to figure out like how to explain all the things that Take Hall told him uh, without bringing up that like his celestial master uh, has all this insight into things. <laughs> um, about about recent things that so he's just trying to like piece that all together while he's like frustrated he can't find anything on Crest Haven in Susan's books. Okay, yeah. So why don't you uh, make a perception check for me? Okay, that is a natural twenty. Hey! Wow! Finally, you roll a natural for... one and a natural twenty back to back. <laughs> yeah, that was that was great uh, for a total of twenty-one. <laughs> so you're you're sitting there and like you're just kind of getting cross-eyed, but then you just hear like this, like, <laughs> but like it's outside, so I guess it's muffled, like, <laughs> and you're like, what the heck was that? Um, but yeah, it's outside, like. uh like kind of around the the corner of 
Like, if you even look out, like, the, just outside the door, it seems like it's around the side. Like, a, a nearby alleyway. Yeah, Are you uh, alone? Like, is yes. he alone in the office? Okay. Well, he's got little just, little Ash with him. It's just, it's just me and oh, right, right, me oh, little none Ash. None of us are um, Yeah, okay. So, Ashion hears this, and the hair on his back, like, just stands up. And he immediately just like starts readying like an Eldritch Blast as he exits out of the office to like track down where this laughter was coming from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it it's it's loud. You can hear it coming from like I, I would say like an alleyway that's near right next to the close by to the the, the the agency. Um so he so he's gonna he would try to stealthily um work his way out of the out of the office and into that alleyway. Hey. Okay. Yeah, roll stealth. Um, he is not stealthy. Uh that's a six. Hey. Okay. Yeah, so you're like creeping closer closer and you're right about to get to the as you, you get to the corner, the, the laugh goes like, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. and then like the door, I think like, you like the door swing close or like you kind of, you know, you know what I think actually happens? Like you're being so quiet and then uh little Ash is like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, repeating, no, like repeating the, the, the laughter. Yeah. yeah. Like breaking your, your stealth as uh and then, like, the alleyway, like, you just see this light flash, and it's quiet. Huh. Like, it's... Um, so, so it's like Dave, a purple, I would, purple flash. As I would be, like, um, sneaking, I would be... Um, so, so he is constantly... Um, when when he like sees somebody or like feels like somebody's near him, he'll be using his sense. Mm -hmm. His uh, he has his celent celestial sense, and then he also now has detect magic. Um, mm -hmm. But the, he would he'd be using his celestial sense because it was a person. Mm -hmm. I don't think he really fully understands his detect magic yet. Um, but would he have picked up anything? Yes. Off of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. There was celestial energy, but like you weren't able to to hold it, like like as you were getting closer, like it just you weren't able to like determine. I don't think if we said you were able to determine or not, but like I think you're just able to sense. No, I would, I, I can sense who is a follower. Sense a follower, um, but not who they're following. But right? not who they're following, yeah. Yeah, so you yeah. you sensed it, but it's gone now. Um. Can I make like an insight to like just kind of piece together what I just saw? Like, would I have any idea of like? Well, you you're still at what the, the purple color means. All right, so you're not going oh, into the okay. alleyway so at I all. Didn't, like, so I didn't see. No, okay. like you you didn't see anything. Like all you know is that like the the like celestial sense is gone. A purple flash happened, and. Like it's the laugh. The laugh is gone. The energy reading is gone. And right after this purple flash happened. Well, that's what I mean. Like, would I? Could I? Can I do like an insight check on that purple flash and try to like, like, mm -hmm. is there any? Like, have I ever experienced that before? Have I? Ever, oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, like, I'm just trying to like figure out what, what that flash was. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is a fifteen plus my insight. Uh, that's an 18. Yeah, so cool. it could, like, it could very well be, like, you know, it could be a magic of, like, illusion based, or it could be, like, dimension door or teleportation or something like that. You, you're not a hundred percent sure, um, but it could be, like, either someone messing with you, at least just from where you're sitting now. Like, right. So, and so, but he, the information you have so now, he, like it, it would line up with like some, either like some weird illusion magic or, um, 
like a, a teleportation or dimension door esque thing. Okay. Um. So with with that, Ashion uh, is gonna like pull Little Ash out of the bag and just scold him um, for for laughing. Um, and just be like, "Shh, come on, man." You gotta be quiet. Oh, laugh bad. Shh. And he's like, "It's okay." And I'm like, not he's mad like, at "You, I just need you to to use some of that stealth you got, too, man." I'm, I'm happy when I'm with you. I just have to laugh. And he just like gives him like a little hug. Um. Because, like, Ashion doesn't know how to, like, not handle that. This is, like, his own little child now that he has, like, always been longing to, like, have, like, a companion in life. Um, and so then he, like, just puts little Ash back into the bag um, as we all start crying. Um, back into the cloth cave! <laughs> Actually, I think um, another thing Ashion might be doing is since everyone's been talking so negatively about uh, goblins, I think he's trying to figure out if he can like disguise at like little Ash as like a baby tiefling or mm -hmm. like some sort of small creature. Yeah, and we can say that's something you did when you were buying gear and stuff like that. Like you were doing stuff. You you could have also gotten things with that. Like to... um, so let's um. So I think I think the next thing he'll do, now that like, he has no idea what that laughter was, um, is take Little Ash back up to the apartment, and he's gonna try to find a way to like paint Little Ash's skin blue. Okay. And you can say you spend the rest of the night or whatever, kind of disguising. Just working on pigments and. Yeah. And wigs and trying to figure out what, what looks mm -hmm. best on him that makes him look less like a goblin. So, um, yeah, well, if you guys don't mind, we'll go. I don't know if we have to, if you guys want to have to stop now, but if we want, we go just go a little long. bit. What? Go long. Okay, yeah, we'll go a little <laughs> bit long. Like, I know we started a little bit late too, but, um, yeah, it can be the next day, and, uh, you guys are all. At Raven Scales, like it's, uh, um, yeah, it's just we'll say it's around lunchtime or something. Uh, you guys are all there, and if it helps, uh, we can even go go there. Oops. Hmm. Do we want to go in, uh, like, um, what's it called? Like a Order. do a trap, yeah. Like roll for initiative and see who goes first. As well, we I guess it depends on scene. like. I'm our, going like, to make a is... pot of coffee. Right. So what time of day is it? Because uh, I, yeah, I'm just like, saying. Ashian, would you have gotten here on time that morning? Like, are we? If it's if it's lunchtime, day? he's showing up yeah. around lunchtime. Yeah. Now it's like he never shows up before nine. Yeah. It's... So would we assume that like the rest of us have already kind of like say... talked and like so he's showing up late and doesn't know where, like yeah, he's behind? So that's, yeah, that's it... what I'm wondering. Um, really funny. Or it's like we could roll, we could RP that we're like we could have our conversation the three of us mm -hmm. and then like mm -hmm. or like, do it again. Yeah. Or it's like or you could have spent something or like because you know this is what Ash normally does. So you could have waited for him to to show up. I well, that's the question. I would, have. would we have? I wouldn't yeah. have waited. I don't, I don't think Thor yeah. would have either. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. If you guys want to share your information, and then, uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, if you guys want to talk with each other, and then I'll just say at some point that's when uh, Ash and Little Ash show up. Yeah, yeah, that's I'll, good. First just... things first. I'm still making a pot of coffee. <clears throat> <All right. laughs> And, and and I bring in, um, so I know it's the next day, but I, I bring in the special pastries that Lily made, mm -hmm. whatever mango her, bread. like, mango, is that what it yeah, was? Yeah, the mango yeah. bread. So I bring in mango bread, the yeah. mango bread, yeah. Um, 
yeah. So I'm like slicing it up while uh, Zafat is making coffee. Um, and I guess I'll start the conversation of just checking in on like, all right guys, so what did we find out? Let's just like dump the information and, and we can sort it from there. Uh, uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, I was able to talk to Brumble Patch. Um, so I can go into detail. Lord, did you talk to Sheriff Gulliver? Uh, yes, and it sounds like we may have a good entry point there. I filled him in on the letter we have from the goblin. Um, and he said, really, all he's going to need from us is uh, <laughs> kind of a, a situation report. So if uh, if you can kind of write up what happened, uh, I think that would be good. And then we just need to take that and the goblin letter to uh, to him, and he can issue a warrant. And I think that uh, will get us right into Crusthaven. Oh, oh! So that fits with what Brumble Patch told me. Um, that that he could help us get into. Um, here's the catch, though. He I did maybe tell him about Little Ash. Um, he wanted oh, to boy. know what our evidence was. He said that the only way that he could help us is if we had like legitimate evidence that the goblins were in the sewers. Also, uh, that we weren't the reason for the sewers flooding, so. Which we weren't. He, well, sure, but he needed evidence, and so he needs us to bring little Ash to him to be interrogated. Mm. Um, okay, where, what, what's, what's the problem? The problem is that I'm not sure Ashion is going to go for that. Uh, still not seeing the problem. Uh huh. Because your conversation went so well the other day. Listen, if he wants to keep this little goblin pet thing around, that's that's fine. But if this is the ticket that is going to get us into Crest Haven, then he's just gonna have to suck it up, let him talk to his little pet, and we can be on our way. Well, I might have a couple of ways that we could get into Crest Haven. Yeah. Okay. Where, what did you find out? So, I... Well, I won't get into the details, but I have three separate ways that we could potentially get into Crest Haven. Three? Uh, three, yes. Because, you know... Uh, you how know many of these... Work. How many of these ways include high probability of dying? Define high probability of dying. It's a fair question. Um, a high percentage <laughs> that I may not live through the experience. Eh, it depends. So the first <laughs> one is uh, apparently there is a clergy meeting or something that happens like once a week or so. Um, okay. We could potentially dress up as clergy and sneak in. Maybe we could have an end with Ash that way. You know? I uh, don't I don't hate that idea. The other ways are one of them is less subtle. Um we could blow our way through the wall. Oh. I like uh, that idea less. And yeah. the third way is uh, I may have someone that could get us some equipment, possibly including maps, uh, so that we could go in through the flooded sewers. Oh. Like, like swimming? Swimming adventure? All right. First, first off, who are okay. your contacts, and how that's reliable? That's not necess- That's that's not that's not important in this. Uh, okay. All right. Well, how reliable are these contacts? I don't. Listen. I don't mind using 
some underworld means, but I'm going to need some reassurances here before we go that path. Stefan, I know that Susan trusted you, but she's not here. I feel like you got to give us something. I can give you a name. Okay. It's Sly. Dave, do we know uh, if anything you guys... about that person? Yeah, because you guys have been in the town and worked with Susan for a while. So if you guys want to, um, let's say a history check, um, or let's see. Yeah, history would would uh, be the most. Well, I don't have good history, so that's all you, Elizabeth. Right, well, I rolled a no 17. Slightly uh, forgettable. I rolled a 9. Mm-hmm. So, I I look between the two of them kind of quizzically. Not uh, you know the name doesn't register for me. Yeah, like I I, I would say with a nine you've heard of like okay. an All entity. Right. Like you may have heard Susan mention Sly. And but just, the, like yeah, that but, doesn't nece- that doesn't reassure me any. Yeah. I don't have that like knowledge to okay. Yeah, and so far, mainly, I would say you would know this more because you did more of the bookkeeping and, like, probably worked with Susan to make sure the files were were done uh, correctly and all that. That um, Sly is, like, a underground information dealer um, and smuggler. Uh, they, and, like, that's... That's like the basic knowledge and you Susan like if you would remember Susan kind of saying it's like he's not my favorite person to work with but like he does a decent job when he's on your side okay. and if you have the coin okay okay well as I'm still not sold, Zafan. Like I said, there are options. It sounds like we might be having some difficulties with people being connected, shall we say, with Cresthaven. All of my options are less connected. Better chances of results. Crazy to me that no one can get in. Rumblepatch himself said he had connections higher up, but apparently can't get into Crusthaven. I don't, I don't understand what is happening in Crusthaven that's so special that the government can't even go there. Laura, Laura kind of looks around and then looks at uh, Z and says, "Where's, where's Ashion? Is shouldn't he be here by now? He's kind of the, the linchpin of." how this is gonna work we we're gonna need his input um it's not 12 o'clock yet so wonderful well here's my vote in order of preference official route number one using gulliver and verbal patch Clergy, faking number two, and can't believe I'm saying this, but scuba adventure number three. I am hesitant about the legal route for a few reasons. The main one being there is a very good possibility that if we escalate this and Cresthaven is connected higher up, they will have a chance to destroy any evidence of what's going on by the time that we actually get there. Good point. That's In not fact, a bad point. The fact that you guys have now mentioned it to legal authorities may have already started that process. I will say I got a good, I felt like I got a good read on Rumble Patch at least that he was against what was happening in Crusthaven and on his level wouldn't put us at risk. Now, I can't say what would happen once we start official channels and he puts warrants in to go into the city, that part of the city, sure. 
I think that's valid. I don't think he's against us, though. So clergy? Don't love that one, but... Let's talk to Ash and see if we have an easier in with him then. I don't, yeah, I don't hate the idea of trying to fly below the radar if possible. Um, that may not be a bad approach. Yeah. Okay. And as that- I sure happened, wish those goblins didn't have that booby trap in the sewers that they got set off because that would have just made things so much easier. Yeah, did you see what happened? I feel like, you know, Laura and I were just like checking out stairs and then all of a sudden water was coming out of the everywhere. world ended. <laughs> You guys, as you're saying that, you hear, angry man, angry man. And Ash is, uh, Zavar, uh, Ash is Zavar going. Zavar looks at Laura like, just Laura gives doesn't him even, a look like. Laura doesn't even turn around. <laughs> Hold on, I got you real quick. Trying to like explain to little Ash that you don't, you don't call people ang- the, like. The angry man, angry man. Than, even if it's true. <laughs> um, and uh, he like walks in and, and like, so Ashion like has like little ash sticking out of his backpack and you just see this like silver wig with like blue paint all over uh yeah little so Ash's Zavara face. sees this um, and is like Dave oh can, can I roll to see how well I use the disguise kit yeah on little ash <laughs> yeah that uh isn't there a skill for that too so, I, so have I, have, I have a plus. Skill? I have a plus five to it. Do we have oh, yeah. to like Good. counter roll to see if we like see through his? <laughs> we'll find out. That's a natural twenty again. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> I really wanted that to be low. I, I know. really wanted that oh, to be low. <laughs> as uh, as someone with expertise in a disguise kit, Ashion, well done. <laughs> <laughs> like when I walk in, like. How does how does everybody react to this beautiful small tiefling in well, my wait, wait, wait. Well, he's beautiful and dirty, right? Like it's both like like because he's still filthy. It, he's, well, he's still study, but it, it, it let me let me uh, jump in here real quick. Yes, you rolled a natural twenty, but they also know you have the goblin. So I would. Well, no, I know. It, yeah, I'm just saying, like, you guys don't have to play like. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the, yeah. he, Ash just Who stole a child. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's uh. It's a baby teeth like that. Yeah, it's um, yeah. You guys, you're you're able to do like you. I would say like you're you're taken back at first. Like, oh my goodness, what the oh, this is little Ash, especially when he's like angry man, <laughs> and uh, so. But I think it's Savara is immediately like, Ash, what have you done? <laughs> because it's just so so dramatic. Like, oh no, what did you do to this poor creature? And uh Ashion just starts talking about how like Lore said that everybody just wants to kill goblins and brother Trump and like he just like he just starts like just rambling off all of these things that have happened over the last like day and a half of interactions with people about goblins and things he knows about goblins and he's like and if he looks like a goblin then then people are going to kill him and 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 i i okay. can't have i can't have okay, anybody okay. take him away from me okay 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 take a deep breath you're it seems like you're a little hype this morning would you would you like a piece of mango bread and here's a little the, piece uh, for little ash the mage hand comes up and grabs the mango bread mm-hmm. And then Little Ash's mage hand comes up and takes a piece uh, of mango bread. Uh, Ashion, what happened? Oh, and, and Ashion just gets like really excited. And he Lore pulls starts Lash like, out, Lore and grabs his Ash. sword handle and like slightly pulls it out a little bit as he's surveying. So Ashion puts Little Ash on the table in front of Zafara, and like you can see his vestments. And like, Ashion's like, no, Ash, pull out, pull out your disc, pull out your disc, and and little Ash pulls out the disc and like, the like symbol of Odin, like, Dave, is that is that how they work, right? Like they you pull out and then like, 
wasn't there like a thing that comes out of the disc? So, or is it just the color? Yeah. So the discs, um, pretty much like you feed ener- like magical energy into it, and what comes out is like a showing of whatever a uh, deity or what element you follow. So, like for for example, a rush the the element of fire when followers of them activate this disc it's like a fire appears in their hand for odine i would say and it could be it, it's pretty much any state of water so um so i guess real quick like what like how would um ashes like you ash like how would you how would he show uh the, the odine water coming out uh i feel like ashes would come out as like just like the bottom of a waterfall where all of the water and like steam just like just like a, mm-hmm. as chaotic of a, a scene as possible mm-hmm. would be like what ashes would show specific like odine like his his odine holy symbol would would show that um so like just just as like water hits water in the bottom and it just begins to like bubble up all of the the foam and and all of the the mist and everything like that's what would mm-hmm. like you'd see like as he like revealed it it would like almost like reverse show like all this bubble and the steam and then the like water fall coming mm-hmm. down so you'd like see it like that and uh by the way zafara you would have i think you have a uh something similar as well as a paladin yeah i have a i have a holy symbol on a on a necklace though yeah but it like pretty much it's the same thing like i wouldn't uh, if you haven't thought of how it would come out uh like the yeah. but yours would be earth based and so yeah and feel free to do that so i'm gonna roll a 1d4 and this is going to determine what little ashes when he shows his yeah what it would look like hey that was a one and so he holds up his his thing and like this blue vapory mist starts coming out and like kind of just swirling around his hand and it's like a th- like it's see-through and uh like it, similar to like when you boil a pot of water how you have the vapor escaping like that that's what it looks like um but it has like a a tinge of blue, uh, for, for the show like water, um, and uh, and yeah, so it's like this like the state of of steam, and like you can see like little little flecks of like kind of water, like kind of like it kind of looks like a boiling pot just coming out of there, where it's like you see the vapor, but then you see like little flecks of of water shooting out of his of his uh his uh his desk. So Ashion like is just like we we did the ceremony last night and and little Ash is a cleric now just like me and Ooh, he just starts like change. listing off the things that like little Ash can do now and he's like and and he can use healing light like like I used on him and and he can do cure wounds and he can even uh, and then he starts going into like the like things he can like he can do sacred flame and he can even do the force um like my force maneuver where all that energy like crackles out of me and and, and like That's destroyed true. little uh um uh destroyed other goblins and okay so not okay. to interrupt but Ashion, do you have any way of dressing us up as clerics as well and as um z says that Ashion just kind of like opens up his one uh he opens up his his thing and, and he like pulls out a disc. Um, actually, he he opens it and the mage hand comes and takes a disc and he and the mage hand like moves across the room. So you just like see this like um, you see a mage hand go across the room to uh, Zafan and hands him a disc, and then another mage hand appears and it hands a disc to Lore, and another mage hand appears, and it hands a disc to to Zavara. 
And it's like, well, we'll have to figure out vestments, but I have us covered on, um, on holy symbols. Laura's, Laura's standing in the, it's kind of standing in the back of the group and, you know, watched all this happen and just says, you know, kind of ignoring the, the, the vestment and disc he just got. He just says quietly, you gave it power. And, and like, Ash is like, well, well, I didn't give him power. He accepted the power. And, and he like just starts to like go on about like how Odin grants power to those who are worthy. Basically, like he, he explains the whole scenario of what Takal did to like grant him power, but like he leaves out all the celestial parts and it's just like last night we, we were worshiping. Oh, hold on, let me turn down my crying child. Um, <laughs> uh, and we, uh, so, so he, sorry, that threw me off real, real hard. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, and uh, so he's just explaining like how Odine like grants clerical powers to, to those who are worthy of, of the clerical powers. Um, and, and, and like Ashian is just like beaming and he's like, and, and Odine. And, and he just starts to like lather all these praises to Odine and things that like an Od Odinian cleric would say and it's like and the great chaotic wonder of of Odine's presence has entered in to little Ash and he just looks he's beaming like a proud father of like their child like doing like some minute task for the first time as if like no other child has ever done it and he's like standing on the desk like like holding the like vapor like the vapory <laughs> disc like like kind of like I don't know I'll let everyone determine if they can see this as well but he's like looking at lore like me and, like for, as approval like do it and help but he doesn't say it. it's just Aww. more like, it, like or go ahead sorry lore just glances at him and looks away and then just stares at Ashion and says, do you have any idea what you're doing? <laughs> That's a good question. And Ashion just <laughs> looks kind of like as if that's like the stupidest question he's ever heard. <laughs> he's like, adventuring. <laughs> like I'm doing what we're supposed to do. And he's just like, Lord, you just kill things. That's what you do. You fix things and you kill things. Ah, and then he just starts talking about how he gives life to things. And like, almost as if he's like found new meaning and purpose in, in his life. Like, it, it's almost like this thing has changed about Ashion, even though he's still showing up late and he's still like, like the, the, the whole process of, of, little ash like coming into his life has like given him this new meaning and purpose and he's like lore i now know what i'm supposed to be doing with my life and it's bringing new people to odine or lore and, and he's like even goblins lore re kind of resheaths his, his sword, kind of seats it back in the scabbard, shakes his head, and walks over to his heater, muttering, <clears throat> you're going to kill us all. Well, if we're going to have another party member, then we should probably clean you up because... You're filthy, first of all. And I'm guessing we're gonna have to go with the clergy subterfuge. I'm not sure that we can 
take little Ash to Brumble Patch now. Just saying. Never been a fan of swimming myself, but it's still an option. And Ash Jones Especially just now like, that we have an extra healer. And Ash Jones just like swimming? And then he stops and he's like, wait, did you just say take little Ash to Brumble Patch? And he's just like and trying to catch up to like all Zavara, these conversations like, that he has no idea what's going on. Yeah, like, cool. Ashion well, we're gonna just, move like, along from that now. We're gonna Zavara, need to like, starts so. to like begin to like no. the process of thermaturgying, but little Ash <laughs> holds out the ball. Like little Ash holds out the little goblin head ball from the table to him. And like actually like, just starts like squeezing it <laughs> with his hands instead of thermaturgying. Zavara picks up little Ash and carries him over to the makeshift um, kitchen and like starts like like basin bathing him to uh, turn him back into a slightly less smelly party member. Does this also make him less blue? Yeah, it, I well, that would be a Dave question, but... Well, I think with a natural 20... You permanently changed his skin I was, color. Have I permanently <laughs> no, died you, like, skin dyed blue? him? No, nah, <laughs> like... You tattooed but... makeup this poor kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, uh, like, it's... It's not an easy process to clean off. Okay. I can get the soot, but leave the yeah. color. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's how good... Like, somehow he got the paint under the soot. <laughs> Natural 20s do crazy things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh man, that's really funny. <laughs> and so I think Ashion is just like starting to ask all these questions that probably annoys everybody since he showed up so late about all these different things. And I think he um, is like, wait, so whose plan is it to go as clergy? And I think he just wants to talk more about like the details they'd have to have to, to do that. Yeah, so Dave, I don't know where we're at, like in terms of timing, like mm -hmm. if you wanted a wrap up, like, you know, I could, I'm assuming that Zafan and Laura are just ignoring Ashion right now. So I could be like giving him like the Cliff Notes version of what we had talked about yeah. as I like clean up little Ashion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's uh, it's definitely one of those things. Like, like I'm not gonna force you guys to rehash everything that you guys just told. Um, and if, uh, so I if, get, I get if, caught up. Um, if Zavara yeah. goes to mention the more legal ways of getting through, I'm just gonna butt in and be like, "Hey, listen, we just need to get some vestments for clergy. We've got an it." Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have gone that way. But I do want to ha want to have a conversation with Lore at some point about how we gracefully back out of the conversations that we had. Um, so I wouldn't tell Ashian. Uh, I wouldn't tell him about um, Brumble Patch wanting to question Little Ash. Um, I would give him like little snippets of that conversation question um out of character dual where did we put the paper uh with the note about crest haven in zavara's desk i think i okay, locked didn't, it up. didn't we lock it yeah yeah i think it's locked in there with uh the empty journal the yeah um while zavara is dealing with little little ash and all i would like to try to surreptitiously open the open the desk and steal the paper well and i am rolling a perception check right. or whatever that's going to be against well, your roll yeah well i think this would be against your passive perception yeah so mm -hmm. roll stealth yeah. and see if you can beat her passive perception Alrighty then see here let's go plus five to stealth 
And we'll we'll say Lore as well, because he's in the room. I it don't doesn't know. matter. <laughs> that one. Oh. Well, I. Well, I have six at least. Way, I have rolled single digits every single time I've rolled. What's it time. like? Oh, well, you're you're level two. You don't have that big of a bonus to it. I was like, well, what's your bonus to Wait, it? I can use an inspiration though. <laughs> yeah, go so ahead. Roll, can't I? Can blow an inspiration yeah. on that. Can yeah. use an inspiration for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna stop you. Hey, if you were a halfling, uh, you could have re-roll that for free. This time <laughs> I got an eleven. Hey. Oh, my passive is twelve. I yeah, see ashes. You. Ashes is eleven as well. Yeah, mine's thirteen. <laughs> Uh, let me see what Little Ashes is. Little Ashes is 11 also. <laughs> you didn't even still fool in the, single the digits. goblin. <laughs> well, it wasn't a one, so... Yeah. Yeah, so it's like... I imagine, like, everything, like... <laughs> I'll paint the picture a little bit. Like, you, you sneak over there, no one sees you. You're like, okay, and you gotta open it up, and it's just like that. <laughs> and everyone's just like, turns and looks right at you like, yes? <laughs> Is it fun? Well, you need something? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Say okay. something like, did, "Did weren't the coffee filters in here?" Um. Uh, yeah, I, you know, um, Lore, you need to oil this. It's horrendously squeaky, and I'm pretty sure the hinge on the furnace over there needs to be oiled also. Um, it's Lore. really any any time any time Zavara opens this thing, it's just like fingernails on char. I just mm, can't even think over here. So I I'd, I'd appreciate it. That's it's your job, right? That's like. <laughs> Part of what you're supposed to do around here, like fix Lord, things. Lord think. cocks an eyebrow and just uh, says, "I'll look at it." Thanks, thanks. I appreciate that. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job or anything. It's just, you know. <clears throat> you know, Stefan. <clears throat> if you wanted something, you could just ask. Just put it this way: if you hadn't known where the evidence went, you wouldn't have to go back to Brumble Patch and whatever his name is and lie to them about it. Well, we but anyway, don't have regardless, a nothing is going to happen. So we don't have a goblin anymore. So I, I also, yeah, Lord or Lord, Lord killed him. <laughs> Lord nods <laughs> and says, "I don't. Yeah, I don't think that plan is going to be an option anymore." <laughs> That's funny. I like it. <laughs> um, like. <laughs> Slam the door shut and walk off like nothing happened. <laughs> Dave, so I have a question about what Ashium would know. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking up and trying to figure out where, like, the only place in the in the books I found that you can get vestments is from a priest from a priest pack. Um, would Ashion know how to go about getting vestments? Um, since, since there are things only like clerics have. Uh, I would say so, and, like, uh, I would also say just or, or, with who you are, you might, you should know how to, if not get one, them, make a Can we just, like, good raid copy. a church? You well, want? Isn't Sly gonna help? I was gonna say, I might be yeah. able to yeah. help. Sly, Sly might be that. able to help with that, um. Because no. it, was, it was his idea. Mm. Um. Yeah. It is one of the options. Like, if you guys have thought of something, another point, like, these are just of the options that you found, like, from your, your current thing. If you think, uh, you know of a different way, you can totally, uh, totally an option. Oh, and Ashia, as we're talking about this, Ashian starts to just talk a little bit about the things he learned about Reese. Um, the fact that, like, Cresthaven is really well set up um, with the borders and its fortress because of Reese. 
Um, and and he starts like bringing up the fact that there's this thing called Reese Day feast that's happening, and that that day is way less security happening. Um, Dave, do I do I was I told like in in our conversation we didn't say what day it was, but like do I know what day that is? Like do I know when it's coming? Uh, sorry, the sorry, which one? Day feast. Um, within From my conversation with Takal. Yeah, like it. He may like it was in coming up soon. Like uh, I don't think he said what day, but like, um, if you looked into it, it would be like, well, I don't know how you look into it, but it's maybe that's one of the things that came up like during your your study, like because you're a natural one, because it was absolutely not what you were trying to find. Uh, you yeah. found like. Reese Day is like next week. Okay. So then I would relay that as well. Uh, and, and we don't know what day clergy are allowed in, right? Like we haven't we haven't had that told to us yet. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed like from what Sly was mentioning, like clergy is able to get in but it seems like it's only like one element at a time and like at least one temple at a time and uh yeah, you currently don't have the information of of that schedule or how that even works alright so we're quick. gonna need to do some more um Searching, I guess. Would this anyone is... have told Ashion about dynamite? No. Okay. <laughs> so then, absolutely, so worry no about one it. would ever mention anything about dynamite to Ashion. <laughs> Got you. You guys just won't learn that information. Like, okay. <laughs> oh, that's a completely out of player thing. Uh, like, yeah. But I agree. I would not have told you about dynamite. No, no, that's perfect. No, no, no. I that's it's good. I just was trying to figure out role play. We're awesome. Hey. Yeah. So, um, out of role play, if we're going to go down that route, probably need to like meet with uh, Sly, or at least further pump him for information or details on how this whole scenario <laughs> would work, I would imagine, right? It'd probably be best if... Well, I don't know. So the issue is Sly doesn't know Zafar, Zafon, and you guys don't know Mad Dog. Mm, right, 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 right. So but it I would probably Sly. be best. You know him in name Sly. only. You know of Sly. Okay. Yeah. It would probably be best for Mad Dog to go back and get the info, find out how much vestments are going to cost, things like that. Would the be time. Guess. See like if they timing. know the timing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like without going really into it, it like he he seemed like whatever plan you decided to go. He would be able to get you everything you needed. Yeah. Mm. The thing is, as Zavara remembered, whatever his plans are, he always has a price. Also, one thing to note, I never said that I had the dynamite when I told you guys about it. Yeah. Yeah, you just talked about blowing up. Oh, you said option. blowing a hole in the wall the wall yep <clears throat> okay just wanted to make which i also wouldn't have said to ashion regardless yeah oh it's all good i understand why no one would say that to me <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah so we could do i could do a little bit more going into finding out what like you know the, okay this is one that we're considering pursuing what's it going to cost and what are some of the deeds hmm. can i send him with some money well, the price hasn't been determined, so. I know, but I guess I'm wondering if I can like try to guesstimate it and send him with money to well, cut out another meeting. 
Can, can we trust him with a whole bunch of money? <laughs> Something yeah. to with coins or not? <laughs> It's a great uh, question. I was like, is Zafan going to hit the casino on the way over? And <laughs> Would Lore trust him with a bunch of money? Probably. <sighs> Probably not. But would Lore know what Zavara does? Not necessarily. <laughs> um, okay. um, if if we had any conversation about the vestments, I think Ashion would say that he has an idea of how to get his hands on on some locally. Okay. But it would probably take him like a day or so to get them together. That could be good to know for uh... Well, I think I asked Ashion if we'd, if he could get his vestments, but it was very like it was right he was starting he to ask right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like Oh yeah, that's when he gave us the medal and stuff. Um, yeah, the, the that would be that's good when for I negotiating. threw everybody there. Uh, that uh, would a be disc good for for holy symbols. Also, I still have that. Which the no one has asked right any now. questions about why Ashion has. Like. Well, then you just said that you wanted to convert the whole world, so clearly I, that's why I, you have true. so many you discs. <laughs> yeah, I, I think oh, my thought would just be it's weird cleric stuff. I don't know what <laughs> clerics do or what they have or but particularly care. Here, here is a, a... holy symbol, I think is what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, question is... Uh, and you guys don't need to answer now, but it's something to think about. I don't think um, Zavar would have trouble activating this. Which... Honestly, that might limit. I don't know. It it just depends on if you guys can all get into in with the same kind of element going in there. But uh, the other question is, the people who don't have divine or rather element energy, such as Lore and Safan. How are they going to light their discs? I might be able to figure out with some rolling uh, if I can create a forgery of the discs Isn't that so that they thing? go on they go without a magical power they do the right thing they are so um, to answer uh, I guess you're your question real quick uh nate they are forgeries but they still require energy to produce that so like um when ash and little ash are using those and like at, like pouring energy into the disc it is giving a almost uh it's not a perfect one-to-one -one in like a high level cleric or or Paladin would be able to see that as counterfeit. Um, okay. Or someone trained in magic. It's, um... But, like, they still have... They still have gas to put in the tank. While the other... While you guys currently do not. Okay. Now, that could be something, like, yeah, as, uh... Ash could do some least, working you might on be able it. To use these as bargaining chips to bring down prices with Sly. Yeah, and Sly oh, might have I got this. Sly might have options as well. It. Um. So, but real quick, there's there's two things that I want to do. Uh, Lore. Yep. Can you roll a perception check. Mm, that is 22. All right. You notice, like, that a certain blue goblin creature is, like, nervously walking towards you. He walks towards you, and he, he taps you on your calf. Lore kind of 
Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, Lord gives him like a little side boot shuffle. Like, kicks him away a little bit. And like, he, he comes back up, taps you on, on your cap again. He's like, Mr. Angry Man. The whole be say, I'm sorry for calling you Angry Man. Uh, you never, I don't know your name. So that's why I call you Angry Man. So, since you don't like that, I'll just call you Man. <laughs> so, here you go. And he, like, he, you see that, like, he was saving a little bit of his mango bread and, like, kind of just puts it on your work table. And he's like, I'm sorry. And taps your calf again. And, sorry, man. And he just kind of, like, shuffles back over to, uh, to Ash, and it's just like, like, I'm back. <laughs> so, or Lord just kind of keeps tinkering with his uh, his furnace and does, you know, just makes kind of a low, non-committal growling noise to himself. And, and finally, I need everybody to make a perception check. Oh no. Put my dice away. You can put them away after this. I rolled this. another stinking natural twenty. <laughs> well, the uh, Josh, the campaign is, is uh, killed by three natural twenties in a row. <laughs> Dear goodness gracious! Okay, I got a. Uh, I rolled an eleven. I have a fifteen. Okay. I only got a six. All right. Well, we'll say that Zavar is Zavar like is too like taken by uh, by little Ash and his. Adorable nature. Yeah, like <laughs> I. I, hmm? I was trying to figure out why everyone. Oh, uh, I think it was like 15, 11. 11. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll say that like. I was 15. I like yeah. to make little Ash the excuse why every skill check fails. So, <laughs> yes. yeah, we'll just say that like. Um, <laughs> Zavara and like little Ash are like. Uh, Zavar is like kind of collecting papers, and Little Ash is just like, like, like I don't know. <laughs> I don't think the cleanup song by Barney is copyright, but <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's something the equivalent of that, but like in goblin tongue, and he's like, <laughs> and uh, like a little goblin song. And he's just helping you clean up, and like he's just like he points like at the safe, and he's like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> just like, and then kind of giggling. But everybody else, you hear like this crowd, like uh, rumbling and just like this like murmur of a crowd outside the office. Um, Josh, what is Ash's? What is Ash's like? Um, ever like his? Uh, like you got natural twenty, but what is it like total? It's, it's it's a 21 total. Okay. Yeah, so still you'll be able to hear like, make way, make way. Oh, what do we got here? And like, and then it kind of gets a little bit muffled. Um, well, we should go outside. Someone should check. Maybe? Are we getting blamed? Oh, you guys are sitting in there. I think I think Ashound's gonna take little Ash. Um, in hearing that there is a like large group of people and put him in Susan's office. Right. Yeah, good call. I, I will say with definitely what you're hearing, it doesn't sound like it's right outside your door. It sounds like down near a certain alleyway. Oh, okay. Um mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's no, not so then... it's not like a crowd angrily coming to kick your door down. Gotcha. Okay, all right, sorry, I was misreading that. Yes, um, no, I, I, I understand. Mm -hmm. I think Ashion will share with everybody what happened yesterday, that he heard laughter from that same alleyway, and when he went to, like, check on it, he saw a purple flash, and then couldn't sense the magic that he was sensing anymore. And... Okay that we should probably go check out what's happening in that alley. 
Okay. I'm in. Yeah. Hey. So you guys... I would say we, oh, we all walk out, yeah. Hey, so you guys walk out and you see, like, an assortment of, of like, um, just a gaggle of people, like, like, what? And it's like, rhubarb, 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 rhubarb. Just, like, all just, <laughs> like, just talking amongst themselves. And, like, just like, oh my goodness. And just say, make way, make way. Oh, you don'ts just, ah, and you just, and, like, you just hear, like, this voice, uh, go, like, going through the crowd and uh yeah what do you guys want to do with this crowd um lore just kind of sidles up to just a random person and and asks what's what's going on here and it's yeah and like you, you guys are near uh the kind of at like the back yeah, of the group. yeah the back of the alley and it's just yeah. like like this uh, kind of like mousy woman's like, I don't know, I just got here and it's just the crowd, it, it pulled me in, but it seemed, I don't know, they something happened in the alleyway. What port was called? Is there any space in the crowd for Ashion to kind of like make his way through the people? Oh yeah, if you guys want to muscle front? your way up, like, I'll, I'll definitely let you yeah. guys do that. <clears throat> like, it's, yeah, it's pretty easy. That's what it, he'll do, he... He'll start to like just kind of push people out of the way, and it's like detectives coming through, and mm. yeah, like follow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. You get up there, and um, you see uh, just kind of this heavy set man um, who uh, name is, and you guys all know who he is because he is um, actually one of the lieutenants of of. Uh, Underneath uh, Guy Gulliver, it's um, Lieutenant Aaron. Uh, I think of a cool last name. Hmm. I thought my head was Kelvar, but I'm like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Kyle <laughs> Kelvar. We're we're him uh, Kyle. Uh, Darn. <laughs> I'm like my brain is like what is a fun last name and it's just like it's going through all these other things especially like all the like Japanese words I'm learning he's like that doesn't make sense why would it be called like six <laughs> but it's just like yeah you know what we'll do that and it'll just uh, um, it's a uh, Lieutenant Kyle who <laughs> K.U. That is not how I spelled it. Mm -hmm. This is just two Ks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even put that together. Um, <laughs> the LKK. <laughs> uh, well, I think we'll give him a different last name after that. Well, we'll give him a... Uh... Kyle Brent. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant <laughs> Kyle Brent. <laughs> a strong name. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's he's a heavy set man. Has uh, he's a human. Yeah, human. Uh, he's got dark hair. Has like a real heavy mustache and a five o'clock shadow underneath that. Um, he's like, oh, hello. oh, hello there, agents. I think my voice changed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. You hadn't talked all that much, so it's okay. Yeah, and just, yeah, it works. Like. I'm trying to remember. He's like, get out of the way, get out of the way. Yeah, welcome. Okay. Um, and you guys can see, you don't have to roll perception checks for this. You see etched down the alleyway two things. A giant purple graffiti with FF on the wall. And a circular burn mark in front of it. This looks like spy work if I've ever seen it. None of you guys saw anything? I know sometimes you guys stay late. Ash brings up that he heard maniacal laughter in the alleyway uh, yesterday and when he went to like check on it 
um, a burst of purple light flashed from the alleyway. Um, and he couldn't sense any more magic after that. Well, it sounds like that the uh, those Easterners are trying to send the spies over here once again. Uh, lore, lore asks the or says, "Officer, have you seen anything like this anywhere else in the city?" Yes. Um, keep it between yourself here, yeah, but uh, and like he kind of gets close. It's like we've seen this markings all around the around the cloud district. Seems to become a little bit more frequent, and uh, seems like they're near places of important importance. Just surprised they haven't marked uh, this place sooner. We can't make heads or tails of it. So you don't have any leads currently on who or what this means? Uh, no, it's... Uh, we're not sure. I don't know. Some of the men think that it could be a cult, but... Honestly, it's. I I think it's more a scare tactic, from East Atris. Make us nervous, even though we're one of the farthest uh, peaks from them. Try anything. Laura just kind of quietly nods his head and takes a step back. Yep. Uh, well, let me take care of this. If uh, if you guys hear anything, let me know. And he's just like. All right, all right, get out of here, get the work. And he, like, he kind of just pushes everyone away. And starts, like, putting up tape. And, uh, with that, I think that's a good point. Call it. <laughs>